I got approached by Ascot and Sodexo um, about six months ago regarding would I like to be involved in this year's Royal Ascot. Um, and for me, the, the instant answer was definite yes. I'm not a racing fan, I don't know anything about racing, but the idea of being involved in something so amazingly British, something that's a, a, an amazing event. And we're very good in this country at doing occasions and to be a part of such a great occasion was a, de it was a definite yes. When I originally got the call, the initial brief was to do something uh, along the lines of what we do. I mean, the Hand of Flowers is, an, a, I, I suppose, becoming a little bit of a British institution is the only pub with two mission stars, and, and which is something that's very British as a pub. And I think it was trying to fit what we do into what they do at Royal Ascot so it's something that is um, high range high end but also a little bit classy but it is accessible you know and it is uh, about enjoying yourselves and, how, and having a great time which is what we try to do at the Hand of Flowers and I think they kind of transcend into an event like this so the brief is trying to match the two together which actually has worked very very well. The biggest challenge was putting the menu together for this was, I, I mean, essentially at the Hand of Flowers we do about 65 covers every service, but we'll have maybe 10, maybe 12 chefs in the kitchen for that service and it's stretched over three and a half hours, whereas here at Ascot we, we're trying to get most people done within two hours and it's 120 to 150 all at once. So, so it was kind of trying to take the elements of flavours and ingredients that we use at the Hand of Flowers, but kind of tighten it and make it more accessible and easier to do I suppose is probably without compromising on quality it doesn't necessarily you're never going to get a dish as tight as it looks at the hand of flowers in this sort of environment but that doesn't mean to say that you have to compromise on the quality of the ingredient and the style and the type of cooking so as long as it tastes and the flavors are there and you get that kind of aspect of the hand of flowers here at Royal Ascot that's what we were aiming for and that was the biggest challenge Could I see myself doing more corporate catering? Uh, possibly. It's not exactly where I like to, it's not where we position the Hand of Flowers in the first place, but those elements of cooking, um, we're, we're very well established and there's a very polished team now at the Hand where we know we have a distinctive style and it's all about, do, do you know what, the easiest thing to do is actually the cooking. A lot of the hard work is in finding the right products, the producers, the farmers, the suppliers. And once we have that supply chain in position, which we have right now, it, it's very easy to move that across to an environment like this. So uh, there is a possibility maybe of doing more work. I, I'm not adverse to doing it, but first and foremost, the Hand and Flowers is by far the most important thing. But, you know, an event like Royal Ascot, you can't turn it down. If you're asked to do Wimbledon or a the Champions League football final or something at Twickenham Revolt, you know, of course, yeah, let's get involved, things like that. But on a day to day, doing lots of weddings and functions like that, that's not my thing. But being involved in something as prestigious and amazing as this, definitely. Yeah.